Two ADF rebels have been killed and their commander arrested following a successful operation by the UPDF on Lake Katwe in Kasese. The commander of the operation, Suja Major General Dick Olum, confirmed that the incident and explained that the operation was jointly mounted by the Marine Police who killed the two ADF rebels and their commander known as Njovu was arrested. Of course this has been a very superb operation guided by His Excellency the President where we got a number of special forces which also came into, into play. The Marines of the UPDF, I mean it was a joint operation that really was led by intelligence and we've come out eventually with the, with the results. I also want to say we have confirmation that this is the same team that killed the white men, that killed these tourists in the park, and we are very happy that this has happened. According to Major General Olum, they got intelligence reports that the ADF were again planning to cross to Uganda through Katwe, Kabatoro, and they were laid them on the waters. It was an unfortunate incident of coming to, to attack the tourists in the Mwea, in, the, in this uh, national park here in Mwea where we lost three people, two tourists, foreign nationals, and also one of the drivers who was the tour guide and the driver to, the, to those tourists. There has also, also been another nasty incident in, incidents in Congo, which is in, in, in Kasindi, where my tactical headquarters is based, where they attacked a vehicle park station, parked station and uh, they killed two of my soldiers. We killed one of them and we took two guns from them. It is also very interesting to note. The robots were found with the items including nails, torches, solar panels, used to manufacture explosives, uniforms and magazines with ammunition. Oh, yeah. Major General Olom explained that they suspected that the rebels were seven in number but they managed to find the bodies of only two rebels and arrested one. He added that they did not recover any gun because they could have drawn in the waters of Lake Edward on the Ugandan side. And today, after all this search, with intelligence information, clear intelligence of information, which I should clarify here, searching for these tags, because they are only six and seven in number, <coughs> sorry, it has been a hard, hard task to get them. The also three chairperson for Katwe Kabaturo Town Council, Mr. John Bosco Kananura noted, that they had the bullets rocking the area at around 1 a.m. and they suspected that something terrible had happened. The UPDF did deployment on the waters. There was an expected encounter and indeed there was heavy gun shots overhead, all over those ends. And throughout the night, I think around about one, some few minutes past one, that's, what, that's when I got a phone call to the effect that these people had they been captured. Kananura stressed that he had agreed with the army to bury the rebels at the town council sanitary as the commander was taken to Sese Army Barracks in Pondry, Luhibura Town Council in Kasese District. PDF is a force I've been proud about. Yeah, the whole of yesterday afternoon, throughout the evening, throughout the night, we were with them, we were planning with them, and we were seeing success coming. So we had patrols on the waters of Lake Edward, on the side of the waters of Kayanja, then a Chondo on Lake Edward, and we were successful. Commenting about the operations, Bakali Sewowa hailed that the army for the operations and say that their action is going to give life to the tourism. <laughs> Major General Olum later talked to the locals who had gathered to witness the bodies of the rebels and counted on them to always report any suspicious face as they also strained their children from joining the deceptive activities. We continue to search for these other tags that could have remained but we are so sure that what we have done gives us a lot of encouragement that these guys have really come to their end. Yeah.